Hello everyone! Alright, so today is the first time that we are doing um, the Lockdown Economy series live on Instagram. Alright, so I'm, I'm waiting for Dave to join. He's already been on our show in June and today we will find out what happened in this last two months and the Dutch government, aha! Uh -huh. Hello Dave! Alright, so... Wonderful. Hello, yes. Dave. Hi. Here we are. I'm very happy that you made it. I was Thanks. already nervous. <laughs> let me see if I can put my phone. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So let me just introduce you while you're organizing yourself. So everyone, welcome Dave van der Aar, um, the owner and head barista of Coffee on Wheels um, uh, in Amsterdam or just in the Netherlands. Uh, wait. <laughs> T tell in me Amsterdam. Then. No, you're in right. <laughs> okay, so um, it's actually a great uh, coffee catering service where Dave and his team, or sometimes uh, another barista, just come together with uh, with their espresso set or piaggio to your event, to your party, and that's how we met as well. And uh, two months ago, Dave already joined me on the lockdown economy series on YouTube. And he told us the story about the business in the lockdowns, how it affected him and um, all the hardships and all the brand, uh, brand new ideas that came to him. And so it's two months since, and I would really love to hear from you, Dave, uh, what's your experience? You know, how has it been life after the lockdown? Um... Yeah, well, I, I first of all, I, I really enjoy uh, actually um, still the a lot of the free time, um, but business-wise, it, it's still uh, really quiet. Um, uh, of course, it's summer and it's holiday season, and we are really a business-orientated uh, company, so it's always quiet every year. Um, we had some small events from our regular clients that uh, booked us, and that uh, felt really, really good <laughs> to make coffee, to see, uh, to see our, our clients, to, to make uh, coffee for guests. Um, so that, yeah, that is nice, but it's still uh, really quiet. And uh, so you, you mentioned, you mentioned, sorry to interrupt, uh, at the, at the um, end of the lockdown, I think on our interview, you said that you also have a collaboration with the cafe where you just sort of uh, bring your Piaggio over to their cafe and you just serve as a barista and you meet all the people. That, did that continue? And what was the change with the people that you saw? Um, well, it actually um, stopped this week, uh, the collaboration. Um, uh, because of the holiday season, it was... Um, that quiet on the streets. So uh, business-wise, it wasn't interesting anymore to, uh, to, to do that. Um, but another opportunity came along um, um, uh, to start actually my own espresso bar, to take over an espresso bar. Um, and what I said in the interview as well is um, you really have to do what makes you feel happy. And... Um, uh, for the short term, uh, while business is really quiet now, it, it might have been a good decision uh, to do that. But for the long term, I um, realized that it would not make me happy. So um, taking all the pros and all the cons into consideration, um, yeah, the decision uh, was not to do it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and... Yeah. And and so I, I think, uh, well, we had to move our live stream today from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. because apparently mm -hmm. it's the high time and the government wanted to speak also about different issues. And I know that they discussed uh, Corona and, you know, what the, uh, um, what the government and the, the country should do in those times. And did they mention anything about the, 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 the second lockdown, you know, I know that you watched it more or less. So how, how did it make you feel as a business uh, owner? Uh, well, we, we noticed in the last um, couple of two months that more uh, private uh, uh, requests are coming in uh, for um, small weddings and, and uh, small, uh, um, um, small birthday parties. Um, 
And now the government said, well, uh, don't organize any family events uh, at home anymore. Uh, don't invite people at home. Uh, lar uh, yeah, larger than a group, uh, than, than six people. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure what that will do with, uh, with, with companies and with the future uh, coming months. But... Um, mm -hmm. It, it might in influence uh, that people uh, will decide, okay, let's hold back and stop organizing uh, events. Uh, but still, um, I, I really believe if we take uh, the one and a half meter distance in consideration and when you... Um, um, yeah, when you, you, you keep your distance and you make sure that... Uh, you wash your hands and, and um, yeah, Absolutely. use your uh, things, use your common sense. Yeah, to yeah, use your to, common to sort sense of, to protect yourself. M maybe yeah. it could continue, but um, I yeah. guess now with the vacation time in Amsterdam, and you know, there's still a bit of a fear, you know, among people to like come very close. And now with this government uh, recommendation not to get gather groups more than six people, I mean. That's, that's really tough. Um, your whole business model is based around events. I know it's mm -hmm. a bit difficult to discuss this, you know, in a, in like in a 10 minute chat on an Instagram. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's a bit of a deeper, you know, um, it requires a deeper thinking and, and really, you know, looking at the business. And I know that you also have a, a you know, the co-owner or the, the other head barista, your business partner. Mm -hmm. And um, so, was it your joint decision not to take on a bar, for example, or, or what the two of you are thinking about the future of the, you know, it, it, are you discussing the potential that there are not going to be any events? Um, yes, and it worries us as, uh, as well, but um, we also, also have confidence that um, small events will take place. People really would like to meet. For example, yesterday I had a, um, a small event at um, a school. It was the first day that um, the children went back to school and um, the, the director of the school invited me to come to the play garden um, and to give all the people or, or all the parents a cup of coffee and welcome them back in these insecure times. And um, it, it, it worked very uh, good and we had a lot of positive reactions and um, in that way, I, I, I still believe that um, it will be safe and it will be fine. And um, it will not be um, as, as before Corona started, but still, I think um, still um, yeah, events will take place. So there, there are possibilities um, from what I hear from you. For example, uh, normally you probably wouldn't consider a school um, introduction as an event, right? But now... Mm -hmm. e there are some places where people actually have to gather whether they want it or not, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's the uh, parents in school because you cannot just keep your children forever at home. It, it's yeah. not healthy for them. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for society. So at no. some point, um, maybe, um, maybe we can identify, you know, as a business advisor, I'm always thinking, okay, what can we do? You know, maybe we need to identify the um, gatherings which have to happen. And then we just put you in the middle of them, just yeah. because. Also, one, so one good example of, of an event uh, that took place was an uh, influencer uh, event. So uh, only 20 to 30 influencers were invited uh, to have breakfast with coffee. And a company uh, was uh, presentation, um, presenting uh, their project. So mm -hmm. all the influencers uh, posted online uh, all the advantages of the product uh, in their own yeah, uh, way. And that is also um, um, a possibility for companies to promote uh, something uh, to the world. And that using influencers. Um, the online business is huge and it, it, it will still grow. And... Um, yeah, that in combination with personal contact, uh, um, yeah, is still taking place. And at the end of September, I have, a, I have another influencer event. So we see, um, yeah, a change in, 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 in the events uh, that are taking place. Um, it's still small events, but um, they are taking place. Companies, 
they will find uh, different ways now uh, to uh, yeah to, to to come to the people yeah to, it's to show their project. What you, yeah, it's interesting what you mentioned about the influencer event. So if I understand correctly, I'm just you know to get some insights from you on you know what the new events look like because um, of course the huge events like conventions, 500 people and more, they're not happening. It's very much not encouraged. But it's interesting to hear that basically, as I understand from you, they invite a person who is an influencer on Instagram or LinkedIn or something like that, right? And mm -hmm. then there is a gathering of company people and then they just t talk about the product that they want to promote and then the influencer takes it into the online world. Is that how it yes. happens? Yeah, okay. that's how it where, happens. And where, where does the coffee come in? Uh, the coffee comes in when the influencers are uh, coming uh, to the event. So we welcome them with a, with a coffee, uh, cup of coffee or cup of tea and a big smell. And uh, then they can, um, yeah, chat, they can mingle uh, and then um, they will offer the breakfast um, on a very long uh, table taking care of the one and a half meter uh, distance, uh, taking that in mind. And then there were two ladies who were presenting uh, the product. And um, yeah, and, and then the influencers uh, were able to ask questions. And uh, at, the ev at the end of the event, there was uh, a possibility to ask questions and um, having a cup of coffee again. And so it's only a two hour event, but um, yeah, that was, um, yeah, that that is how it looks like. Yeah, but it, it sounds it sounds like from uh, the big events where you have to serve, for example, sixty people in one hour. And I remember you told me once I asked you how many cups of coffee can you serve in one hour. You said probably <laughs> about a hundred. Yeah, that's very impressive. So yeah. now from those types of events, we are moving to, um, you know, more exclusive, you know, and where you just invite people who are well connected with the online world and they become your ambassadors of the, that product. And then the, the coffee element and comes in as more as an exclusivity, right? So to create mm -hmm. the atmosphere, you know, so it, yeah. it, well, it was always to create an atmosphere, but here you don't have to serve 100 people. You can actually just, you know, make it very, very special. I Is only, that how it works yeah. now? <laughs> yeah, it's only two, 20 to 30 people that we are uh, making coffee, uh, but we are still reaching like maybe thousands of people. Uh, that day so um yeah yeah that sounds um, that sounds excellent and have you you know maybe you don't have to share if you don't want to but uh, do, do you uh use the opportunity to get connected with the influencers because i think all the people want to get a little bit uh, of the attention from them yeah well one of the influencers uh, i uh, overheard him that um he only eat it plant based, so um, he was only eating um, yeah pl plant based products, and that is something that um, we also like to inspire uh, people um, um, to take cleaner, care healthier. of a, or, yeah to yeah to 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 take uh, take care of a better world, and um, that is one of the things that um, I read a, a lot about mis minimalism uh, th this summer, and also about uh, taking care of the planet, and um, yeah, also um, uh, implement that at, at home and in our personal lives, but also in into our business. And I asked myself, how can I do that? And uh, normally we, when we make a cappuccino, we use cow milk uh, mm -hmm. um, and the plant-based milk was uh, so, somewhere behind, but now we put it in front. So, um, and we, we tell our guests um, that plant-based milk is not only better for the world, but it tastes also really good and um, it makes you feel happy. And uh, yeah, uh, we would like to inspire people uh, yeah, making the, those kinds of decisions or, um, yeah, to, to let them know that. Um, but to, to, to answer your questions, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I followed now the, the person, uh, the influencer who was um, uh, eating plant-based and um, he's also following me and he liked all, already one of my uh, posts uh, the last week. So, yeah, it works. Well, maybe it's, a, uh, it maybe works it's a bit. the start of a collaboration, you know? Maybe, maybe. They'll, yeah. they'll see that you are doing something that, that fits with their values, and then, you know, you can help each other to cross promote. I mean, 
yeah. I really admire how, how you works. know, even even though the business is sort of slow, you know, it's very unclear, you know, where there going to be more events, you know, what's going to happen. You still, you know, you and your business partner, you still ha have the uh, the space, the mind space and the generosity to think about the planet, to think about the people and how they need to be healthy and healthier planet. You know, it's all it all fits really well with the sustainable development goals that also our think tank working towards. And um, yeah, it's very admirable because, you know, um, it's, it's like the little prince, right? Uh, you take care when you wake up in the morning, take care of yourself and then take care of your planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to leave it like that. So, but also, also the interview that we had two months ago um, really inspired people. It was uh, well, um, yeah, a lot of people watched the watched the interview, and um, we got a lot of feedback, and um, uh, we heard from people that it inspired them uh, the way that we look to our company. Um, that that becoming a bigger company is not always yeah feeling good. But uh, that they also, yeah, it helped them to make decisions uh, which were in line with their personal goals. Um, and that really, really inspired me and gave me a lot of energy uh, that people, yeah, were inspired by the interview. So also these interviews on um, Instagram, um, yeah, helps to, yeah, inspire people and to connect, yeah. I am very happy to hear that. Actually, you know, we always say, you know, these interviews are um, a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of ideas that are here now and by the entrepreneurs themselves. So I'm very happy to hear from you that this is uh, really, it really feels like that on the, also on your side and you heard from other people that that was the reaction. And I know I sent you a list of questions. I'm now thinking, did I ask them? <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the questions was, um, what do you feel about the customers? How is the atmosphere? So you go to this event, 20, 30 people, but how do the people feel? You know, what's the, what's the mood? Well, the mood uh, at the, at the Piaggio uh, on the events is really casual and really relaxed. Um, not, not that different. Only when you look at your, yeah, at your audience that everybody is trying to um, keep one and a half meter distance, but um from from our clients' po point of view, that that are booking us, they're still holding back and not only not always have the confidence that it's already safe to uh, to organize small events. Um, but when we hosting the events, um, yeah, people are still extremely happy, <laughs> and um, yeah, of they, course, they it's, are. It's, it's such a change to their normal environment. I mean. It's it's been such a tough time for everyone to just be confined, you know, yeah, like people exactly. are looking for air, looking for people to, you know, to mingle yeah. with. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we heard that and we see that a lot of people are working home and um, yeah, when they when they meet again, um, yeah, they stay a bit longer than than usual to, uh, yeah, to speak. It's different uh, to speak in person than on ways like this, uh, yeah. on the screen, and um, yeah. Yeah, so, it's, uh, it's not exactly the same. We cannot share a cup of coffee. You, last time we had an interview, you promised me an espresso. I'm still, I'm still waiting for it, but you know, <laughs> I'm, keeping, I'm keeping in quarantine myself just in case. So of course, you know, we'll see when I get it. Um, and there's um, maybe there's something you want to share with the with the listeners, with the viewers, because you know you said that. Um, you know, the reaction from people really inspired you and maybe there was something else that you were thinking that you want to share and that would be a good moment. I don't have a question for that, but, you know, you have an mm -hmm. open floor. Um, well, this time during the, the lockdown um, uh, and also in the past uh, two years, um, I realized and I have small children and uh, we have to uh, take care of our planet. And um, when we look to the future, we want to give it um, to the next generation and to the next generation. So, and it only helps um, when we when we take care of it. And we all have a, uh, have a footprint on this world. And um, I really hope to inspire people, and that is what what I'm really going to do, not only personally but also business wise, is uh, to make our footprint as small as possible. So. Um, not be, make really um, yeah 
not usual choices, but um, um, also go for something that you don't know yet, and um, and and really try to um, to make different choices. And um, so, so I'm, something, I'm yeah, sorry, something more more conscious, right? Can can you yeah, give a exactly. few examples? Can you give a few examples? You know, you mentioned already the plant based milk, but now. Yeah. Uh, Something else maybe you're doing you i mean I'm using plastic okay next time i'll I'll bring it. <laughs> well um i I really hope that people um start to realize uh that eating meat is not um, um, from this time anymore. It's like smoking uh, i may, I make the yeah connection with smoking, but um it's also yeah driving maybe electric cars and but but i i, I you can really make a difference by uh not stepping into the airplane that much for meetings abroad. Uh, but the, 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 the next big thing that you can do is uh, stop eating meat. And, or if you really want to eat meat, um, try uh, the, the, uh, the plant-based meat. Um, because I thought I, I, I'm never going to do it. And then after one and a half year, I don't want to uh, go back anymore. So um, yeah, that is I what I you. really want to yeah, I, I would I, like to spread the word personally and business wise. Yeah, excellent. So we're going for the healthier planet, healthier business, healthier business choices, and of course we we have to you know protect our planet. And if if somebody has a particular interest in that topic, I recommend uh, the Sustainable Development Goals course on EDX, which is free for everyone, and you can learn so much about really the impact of our behavior on our planet, uh, if somebody has a particular interest in that. But now, to coming back to the business, coming back to lockdown economy, this is, you know, the talks with entrepreneurs about how their business is doing. I would like to ask you, maybe just to sort of finalize, um, we, want, we, are, we are reaching more, more and more people every day with this initiative, and uh, I have some exciting news to share. I'll keep it for the end. Um, and one new question that I want to introduce for everyone, for every entrepreneur we interview, is what are the three things you need help with? Because maybe somebody somewhere is listening and they're thinking, wow, I love this business. Uh, you know, this guy is great. I really want to collaborate on something. Maybe there are three things you want to mention that, or one or two, how many you like. Something that you need help with and maybe our listeners or our viewers will see it, will listen and will reach out to you. Um, well, um, I need help with spreading the word. <laughs> spreading the word so, uh, but, but above all uh, it, it's confidence uh, what I uh, need from uh, our clients to book us so um, you can do it on di different ways but uh, maybe yeah I'm open for ideas um, and um, yeah I would like to invite Oatly to uh, or any plant based milk um, yeah uh, companies uh, to really boost more uh, the, the, their products and to help me uh, to change. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Really you know, becoming, yeah. becoming an Oatly or, or ambassador or an ambassador of some other uh, yeah. plant-based milk uh, company, that would be, that's actually a great idea. You know, you see, you come up with ideas all the time. I really like to have you on my interviews because, you know, it's always <laughs> very interesting. And uh, you have a very an unusual approach to, to this. So, yeah. okay, we want promotion. So everyone who's watching, please reshare, you know. And of course, you know, the best sure. way to help a business person is order his services. It's as easy yeah. as that. Just book a coffee, uh, espresso, exactly. uh, extravaganza for yourself, for your family, for your events, which are hopefully not too big and you keep in a one and a half meter distance. Um, yeah, and follow us on our social media platform, and um, it's Coffee on Wheels Amsterdam. Um, and 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 follow us, and uh, we should always share our stories. So uh, the the things that we mentioned now in the interview, you will see it uh, back in uh, our timeline. And um, yeah, that's the way to uh, to keep contact. But uh, yeah, bring the ideas, and um, yeah. We are always uh, open for it. 
<laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you for joining me today. And of course, everyone who's listening, everyone who's watching this recording later, if you have any ideas, if you want to book um, Dave's services, you know, it is espresso bar uh, at your location. It is a Piaggio at any event outside, you know, so it's, uh, it's, it's all uh, out there for you, uh, for the taking, right? So thank you very much, Dave. And I say goodbye to you. And then I will make some announcements to the listeners. Okay. Thank you as well, uh, Julia, for having me. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right. And so we are finishing. This, uh, this was our first live stream. I hope you liked it. Uh, leave us the comments. I saw lots of likes. I like it very much. Um, so I have some exciting news. Uh, our initiative is officially published uh, on the United Nations website um, on partnerships for sustainable development goals. And the hashtag is SDG Action 36773. So that, that's the number of our initiative. And please share the word, um, get people to watch it. You know, we're going to be coming live uh, in Europe uh, quite regularly from this week onwards and also in Mexico. So stay tuned and hashtag lockdown economy underscore local, you know, share. And if you want to participate in an interview, just shoot us a message or, you know, if you know me, just send me a WhatsApp. Um, Thank you very much for joining us today. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you. And bye.